Hello friends, welcome back to Mudstack. This session is a part of CICD pipeline series. In that series, we have implemented different, uh, you know, CICD pipeline using different tools. One of the CICD pipeline we have used, you know, GitHub Actions. Now in this session, I'm going to show you how we can integrate our Slack for messaging so that we can share the status of my CICD pipeline whenever the CICD pipeline gets triggered. In my Slack channel, I'll be able to see messages. So in the Slack channel, I can create the, uh, you know, a channel where my team will be there. Okay, so all team members will be getting the immediately, automatically the messages of my GitHub, you know, pipeline trigger or anything push happened or whatever status is the job status. Okay, now let's see a step by step how we can integrate it. So first, let me show you my CI/CD pipeline code. So right now we have very simple pipeline where I am doing simple build. Okay, so right now I'm not doing deploy so that deploy takes a time. So I just wanted to avoid it. So I'm just doing build over here. You can see that this is a trigger. Okay, if anything uh, pushes on the master branch, it will get triggered. Now, here you can see that we are running on Ubuntu, this job, and then there are environment variables here. Then we are doing checkout. Then we are setting JDK and we have cache also is here enabled. And then finally, we are building it. So if you want to integrate our Slack channel here, you need to have your, you know, webhook URL, Slack webhook URL. So we need to create that webhook URL first. Okay, so let's go ahead and create that. So let me go to, yeah, so I'll share this URL. This is the URL where we can create app and via that app, we can send messages to our channel. So for that, we need an incoming webhook. How to create that? Very simple. Go down here and say, create your Slack app first, okay? So step by step, we'll do that. Now, create new app. Go ahead and say that from scratch. Click on it. Select which workspace you are using. So I'm using my workspace. Let me show you first workspace. So I have created new workspace over here. There I have channel called Meetups. I have created Meetups channel over here, and this is my workspace. So that workspace, we are pointing it, and then say create app. So you need to give your name. So let's say, you know, GitHub Actions. Okay, GitHub Actions. CICD. Okay, so this is the name we're giving and say create app. Now go down and here say, okay, you want to post the messages, right? So incoming web, click on it and say on, okay. And here, once you, you know, right now there is no URL, this URL will be coming once you say add new web to workspace, okay? So if you click on it, then select the channel, which channel you want, meetups, right? Go ahead and say allow. So now you got the URL, okay? So you, this URL will be using in the CICD pipeline. So let's go back, so our URL is ready. So let's go back to our CICD pipeline. First, we need to create a secret for that, okay? So let's go ahead and I have already created that secret. Here, you can see that slack underscore webhook underscore URL, okay? So first we'll get this variable inside our CICD pipeline. Let's go ahead here. So I have added the URL from my secrets to this variable. So this is the variable. So let's go ahead and first add this to my CICD pipeline. First thing, step one. Okay, so at the end, we'll get that URL here. Now, once your steps are done, finally here, we'll say that, okay, so I'll say name, Slack notification, okay? Now here you need to add the steps and you say, so we'll use, you know, uses action. So let me copy that exactly the same thing we should supposed to copy. So let me copy entire stuff and I'll explain what exactly this means. If you go here, I can see that. So this is the action 
to send a notification to you know slack then with so what you wanted to send you will be sending job status and in json okay and which channel you are wanted to say this the, this is a channel meetup channel okay and here we are saying always always means in even if your job failed in that case also this will notify other notification or message will be there in the meetups channel so there are multiple options here you have successful failed cancelled all those options are there but we are using always so always whatever happens you supposed to send notification to my channel so that's it that's what the you know uh, code change we need to notify our slack channel so let's save this and wait for it so let's start commit i'm making change to my cicd pipeline code commit the changes it will trigger my pipeline because i'm changing the code so it will go to let's go to the actions here it's triggering now see let's open this it's setting up of the job and we'll see here so i already tested it so one more message will be coming here just to wait for that let's see what happens to this pipeline Now you can see that one more message we have received. Okay, so this is how. So e, 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 e here in this channel, you can have multiple people from your team, so they will be automatically get notifications that okay, the you know uh, our CI/CD pipeline got triggered and a push happened over there. Okay, so that's all from this session and hope you learned something from this session how to integrate your slack with your cicd pipeline thanks for watching please subscribe the channel share with your friends hit the like button hit the bell icon so that you'll get notification for new sessions videos okay thank you